Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. I am in On One Photo Raw 2019 today, and I'm playing around with an image, and I thought I'd talk about what's considered or called the Local Adjustment tab, and I find it to be very flexible and powerful, uh, and really, frankly, easy to use. So I thought I'd jump into that. So here I am in Photo Raw, and the Local Adjustment tab is over here on the right-hand side. You've got Develop, Effects, Portrait, and Local. So as the name implies, it allows you to make local adjustments. And all you do is you just click Add Adjustment, and it opens up this box. And this box has all these kind of different sliders you can move. You can see them, the exposure, contrast, all that sort of stuff. And at the bottom, some, some color-related things. Now, this reminds me very much of using like a radial or a gradient mask in Lightroom, where you click on that, and it opens up that same uh, or similar dialog box. That's kind of the same thing here in my mind. And so... Um, it, uh, it allows you to make these local adjustments, which is great. So uh, in looking at this photo, the first thing I think is, well, the sky is just like, you know, too bright. Uh, so I want to adjust that. So it defaults to an exposure of negative one. I'm going to drop that uh, to negative 1.2. I don't really know what I need to be at. But you see, as I move this around, nothing's happening. And that's because this uh, local adjustment requires you to mask in whatever effect you're doing. So I'm going to go back to this negative 1.2. And once you open this up, you can see that you've got a masking menu up here. So you can do uh, the brush mask, adjustment brush, or you can use a gradient. And I'm just going to use an, a, a gradient. So I'm going to click on that, and that opens up um, a little uh, preset box here. And so there's a number of different things, but if you look at the icons next to the description, because to me at first the descriptions were a little confusing. I'm like linear bottom, but the mask shows it's black on the bottom and white on the top, which makes me think I would call that linear top, to be honest, because remember, black conceals and white reveals. So if the bottom is black, that means it's masked out of the bottom, and that being whatever adjustments you make in the adjustment box. Um, and the white is at the top, which means um, the adjustments that are made in the adjustment box are revealed at the top. So that's what, actually what I want. So I want linear bottom. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm just going to drop the gradient in. And you can see it's immediately dark in the sky uh, by a, uh, a measure of a negative 1.2. And I actually think that looks good. I mean, I could go darker. But here's the thing. Now that I've got the um, adjustment uh, gradient, uh, graduated filter, uh, whatever you want to call it, the adjustable gradient in there, you know, I can move things around. I can adjust this gradient zone, uh, which ensures a smoother transition. I can move this up and down, of course. Um, and I can use this to rotate if, I, if I'm so inclined. Um, I'm not. It's, a, it's obviously a straight horizon. And I'm okay with the way it is. Um, but now that I've got that in there, I could just make any adjustments I want over here. And they're only going to impact the area that's uh, masked. So I'm okay with the exposure. I do want to change some of the temperatures. I like to warm it up a little bit. So I'm going to drag it to the right. Maybe give it a little saturation and a little vibrance. Uh, and let me show you. If I hit the backslash key, that's the before. You can see it says preview off. I'll hit backslash again, and now the preview is back on. Um, and so that's what I like about the um, the local adjustment tab here in On One because it's very flexible and powerful. And you've got all these presets here that shows you kind of how to do it when you're using the gradient. And by the way, if you noticed, there's also a shape over here. So you can do center edges, etc. cetera. Um, I'm just going with a gradient and not digging into all those options today. You can also, of course, adjust the opacity if you'd like to. But I'm fine with it the way it is. And here's the other cool thing is now that you're there, you can just say, well, I want to add another adjustment. So I'm just going to say add adjustment. And in this case, I'm going to bring the exposure up. And um, as you're probably able to guess, I'm going to use that on the foreground. So I'm going to say this time linear top. I know it's backwards, but if you look at the icon next to it, you can see white on the bottom and black on the top. So on the top, it's black, which means the increase in exposure is not going to be revealed. It's going to be concealed in the top and revealed on the bottom. So that's what I want. I'm going to drop that in right here. And there we go. All I did was just increase the exposure in the bottom of the photo. Now, I may want to come in and warm that up a little bit as well, something like that, to sort of accentuate some of that sunlight. Um, but by the way, my first adjustment is down there. So this is my current one here. And it'll just stack those. So you can always go back and turn them off with that little um, radio button there, right? Turn those off if you want. But I'm happy with the way the photo looks. And now, 
when it's obvious to me that I'm gonna be doing something like that with a gradient, I would go do this local adjustment first and then come back to the develop tab and go into tone and color. And here I'd probably make some um, global adjustments. So maybe I'll change contrast overall. Maybe I'll lift the shadows a little bit, something like that. Maybe I'll actually cool it off because maybe it feels a little too warm to me. Something like that and maybe bump up a little bit of vibrance again and maybe a little saturation just because I like that. Um, so I've got a quite a different photo. And again, you can just click the backslash key. That was my original photo. And that's my current state. The last thing I do here is just drop a crop onto this. I'm already in 16 by nine, which is one of my preferred crops. And I think I would just uh, move this guy up because I want to get as much of the foreground as possible. Maybe straighten this a tiny bit. You know, maybe a thing. Yeah, something about like that. And then hit apply. And I've got, I, mean, I don't know, if that, is that straight? I can hardly tell. It might be a little bit crooked, but anyway, that's how you do this straightening. Uh, but if you look at the, the before, it'll still um, hold that crop for you. And the after, I've come a long way. I've, I've adjusted the colors and the brightness or exposure levels separately in the top and the bottom. And really that's all down to the power of that local adjustment tab. And that's what I wanted to show off today. There's a million other things you could do here. You know, uh, there's these little cars down here, there, and something there. You could take those out easily with the spot removal, but I just wanted to show you the power of the local adjustments. And that's how it works in On One Photo Raw, my friends. Super uh, easy and straightforward and simple. For me, the hardest thing was keeping track with the gradient, you know, what linear top versus linear bottom was. It, to me, it was just an inverse of what my, my brain initially went to, but not hard to figure out by just looking at that masking. Um, icon that next that's next to the words and it, it, it the visual really is it is a good cue to tell you what it does and that was really it so just wanted to walk through that thanks for watching I appreciate it hope you had a, uh, hope you got something out of this hope you're having a great day and if you have any questions feel free to uh, hit me up down below with any comments or feedback or if there's any other things you'd like me to cover in on one I'm looking for ideas I'm going through it sharing some tips and tricks as I go and I'm having fun with it so thanks again for watching have a great day my friends I'll see you soon take care and adios